A Saturday afternoon of college basketball continues featuring two programs that have reached the Final Four in recent memory, but both going through some challenges this season. George Mason is in the hunt at 500 in the league and now almost healthy, while Loyola, Loyola's transition to the A-10 has been somewhat difficult. Series, it's brief with the change in conference. Just the second time they've met, George Mason won at Eagle Bank Arena by 11 just about a month ago. Wally Rutecki, Leslie Jones, Nathan Hall, our officials, we're ready to go from Chicago. There are no moral victories, but what did the Dayton game do for them the other night? Oh, well, look at this, wide open. They get an easy one to get started for Bryce Golden. Well, Dayton was a preseason top 25 team. Loyola on a 7-0 run. Norris gets all the way down the right side of the lane, will fade away and hit. 11-3 start for the Ramblers who have just one win in conference this season to really try to take the matchup with Odura head to head. Take that as a challenge, even if you're not always guarding each other. Three ball is good for Golden. That's a key when that's going, it goes well for Loyola. And their play at times. This is why Bob Knight didn't like zone. He says, man to man, I could dictate who you're guarding, and there's another deep three, and a knockdown by Cooper. Cooper, last two threes, bringing George Mason back. Turnover again, six of them. Kennedy trying to initiate contact and against three Patriots gets it to go. Here turnover. Still plenty of time to shoot. Now they will turn it over. Polite going the other way. They can get a two for one here if they wish. Might have. Well, I thought maybe he got a piece of it out of the corner. No matter. Dinkins nails it. And just like that, it is a three point game. Back to five. Guarantees they will take a lead into the half. Mason hasn't led since the opening moments. Down to two in the first half. Cooper from up top, too strong. First half comes to a close. Finds Fernandez, he'll spin, get inside, missing it. Austin with the rebound. Randler's attacking up two. Alston misses, got it back, stumbles out of there with it. Spots Schweiger, three, and good. for Braden Norris. Well, is 11 of 15 on the day. And Morris is someone you'd like to see there as much as possible. He's an 85% free throw shooter. Here's Cooper driving, hanging. That's a circus shot, and he gets it to go. George Mason went to Cooper. Isolation play from the elbow. They rip him towards the baseline side. His defender is going to be between the ball and a man, and that opens up the baseline for a hard rip play. Actually, Schweiger was in pretty good position. Just Cooper had the quickness advantage on that play. Nice call by Coach English recognizing that mismatch where Schweiger might not be bigger, but it's not quicker than Cooper. Five the advantage. Kennedy found himself open, finds Norris even more open, and he nailed it. Lead back to eight. 327 left. Schweiger. Kennedy all the way to the basketball. Yes, blocking foul. Didn't know which way it would go. It goes for the home team. That's a vet move by Kennedy. He catches this on the run. Look at Fernandez can't even react. He's running into the pass. Boy, he had Fernandez beat on the catch because of the way he sprinted into that ball, meeting it. Watch this, sprints into it. He's getting it on the go. It's just and, barely late. Yeah. Polite all the way to the basket, found an opening and a path and got an easy one. Four. On, on that possession, you saw Loyola denying passes. And that means that the paint is open. Hudson tries to play off Oduro, but gets there a little bit late against the quickness of Polite. Keep George Mason in front of you, but make them use time and be very disciplined with your hands. Play with your feet. Try not to play with your hands. Second is good. It's a three-possession game. 
And some of these defenders now that are up, yeah, that's a little better. Just stay in front. They can use at least a few seconds. They try to go all the way to the basket. It's contested. A miss. Time whittling away. Cooper, no. Rebound. Loyola. Jalen Quinn, and that will do it. The Ramblers treat the home fans in early February to the second conference win in the Atlantic 10 final. Loyola Chicago 69, George Mason 61. Great defensive game plan by Loyola, shutting down a duro. They took care of the ball. Loyola continues to get better. Fun day here today in a really good atmosphere. More A-10 coming up tomorrow. Don't forget John Wick is coming up. But first, we go back to the studio with Taryn Hatcher. Loyola wins over George Mason. For John Genie, I'm Kevin Lee. Thanks for joining us.